Monster card, three of dust. Oh, dang. What? Welcome back to the action in Game Death Play Games where we're fighting bandits. This is Power Rangers. Back to action. Back to action. I never understood why that was the magical thing. Like, oh, we're fine. We're we're just morphing again. Morphin' time. Oh, man. It's morphin' time. Starting, Wasn't it you starting... that made the Power Rangers reference to me earlier today? No. Oh. But they are starting casting for the reboot movie. There is a... Yes. What? Yes. What? Saban himself, you know, the people who made the toys and the show and all that, They, the guy himself is seeing the casting and the writing. Like, so, I guess, what are they... Are they still looking to appeal to children? It's both appealing to children while also including elements from the very first season. The cast and the characters are going to consist of the first group of Power Rangers. Well, obviously, they're probably going to have a cameo or something like that, but man, whatever. Huh. Among the bodies, you... I almost read that as... Among the hobbies, among the bodies, you find a scrap of parchment with a rough description of you, plus an offer of a reward from the King of Dust. King of Dust? The dealer draws you one game card. What? 20 what? gold. What is dust in this game? Dust is, uh, bandits. Oh, okay. Is so, that just what they're called? I, it's... Like their bandit the name? the suit. Oh, Jack of Skulls. All right. Of all the players in the game, these are the most dangerous in the world. Oh, it dang. No natural form, a wrongness, an error. You mean like the ones we've been encountering? <laughs> error. No, you want to talk about a wrongness. Let's talk about Shrek is love. <laughs> uh, in between one of the episodes, I don't even know how Shrek is love came up. I think we were, oh, we we just finished our playthrough of Dropsy. Oh. Um, and I was like, Dropsy is love. Oh, Dropsy now life. you just ruined it. <laughs> and I was like, Dropsy is love. Shrek is love. Uh. And Kuja was like, what? Shrek is love? I was like, okay, let me pull up the YouTubes. And I showed, showed him the Shrek is love video. And there was a point where both he and I were like, no. Oh, no. This is, this is no, too much, too much. It was bad. So More like scarring. Big thing with this one is that undead enemies can be resurrected by the Jack of uh, Jack of Skulls. Oh, so are we um, actually fighting the Jack of Skulls right now? Yes, oh, okay. he is around the corner. So then, is killing. So then, what's the optimal strategy here? Is well, should what, we bother? What, what helps him? is that. Oh, we already killed him. Shit. Well, uh, right. what helps is we had a holy mace, which does more damage ah. to undead. Um, and it also sometimes prevents them mm. from being resurrected. Mm. Okay. Um, the advantage there was you take him out first well and then worry about the other ones well later. Done. No, that's fair. That makes a lot of sense. But you have Bam! Look at that. Tombs, and even I cannot say what will come of it. Now our wager becomes more interesting. Will the tools you've earned suffice to address the challenge? Landlocked lover. Oh, that's leading that to the, the uh, DLC. Which apparently is free? I think I, I saw that, which is actually pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, uh, a lot of games actually uh, that are going to be coming out are adopting the free DLC method because, you know, at least with Capcom, they're like, maybe we shouldn't be making three versions of the same game. Yeah, it makes me wonder why it's so popular because I didn't have a huge issue with the DLC model to begin with. Right. Um, but like, it makes me wonder: Are these developers making more money by doing this? Because are more people buying the game? Mm. Um, it makes a lot more sense for indie games, I think, but it makes a lot less sense for AAA developers mm. because they have bigger teams and bigger budgets to afford. Yeah. Um, so I don't know. I think it's interesting. Like Shovel Knight did it, and I feel like Shovel Knight is pretty widely accepted as a probably one of the far more successful indie games out there. Right. Um, but they have free DLC. And um, I, I guess, like, did they just make enough money to where they were like, yeah, well, let's just make this and release it because we love our fans. Yeah. Like, Well, I think, at least with Street Fighter, what they're going to be doing, which I think is awesome, is um, characters and such will unlock based on how... It's adopting the Mario Maker method. Based on how much you play and how much you do, you get in-game currency, and you can use that towards costumes, stages, concept art, whatever. Which also, is pretty normal. Characters. 
like yeah, I mean characters that they would normally just put as like a oh it's Super Street Fighter Five now it's it's with new characters and rebalancing. No, they're just going to come out with free updates. Okay, to okay. continue to rebalance the game and make sure that everybody can enjoy it. Well, that 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 was what answered my question was because. You know, unlocking things with in-game currency isn't anything is, new, is that it? even sure. even with characters. Um, yeah. But if they're just adding characters, just you know, over time, then yeah. that's actually very interesting. Yeah. Of which, um, there are a couple of uh, interesting characters that have been announced for the new for the new characters in Street Fighter V. But what I like is that when it came time to announce the, the trailer for Zangief, they went back to making him like the sort of beefier version that he was in Street Fighter 2 hmm. which is like a for me it's a big homage to what really launched the game into uh, popularity and I think that's awesome so nice. props to you Capcom good choice the river again how will I cross well it'll be the same way this time we have a six opportunity for a huge success and that's yeah well the one the third one is not the failure I know that much yeah. Nice. My armor makes the crossing easy, and you even stop to die, stop to die for some shiny stones on the riverbed that may fetch a few coins. Gold gain card, fifteen gold. Whoop whoop. Same as ever. Sounds the fact ring. Put it away and have it cleaned and identified later. Then you continue on your journey. Do it. Do it. Helpful priest. Ooh, that's a new one. Gods and eternal damn. You may demand during breeze to greet you with a friendly manner. A small share of your provisions, I will bless thy name in, 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 in gods. <laughs> He's old, right? Come some slack. All right. Camera overheated. <laughs> yeah. Damn. I if mean, huge success. He gives you two blessings. Ooh, what, okay. So what do blessings do? Blessings, retribution. Whenever the player is struck by a ranged attack, there is a chance the attacker will be stunned for three seconds. Basically, it's like a status affecting thing that can offer something entirely new. Um, it's it's basically like a passive ability. Yeah. I I worry that like can you look at that card? Oh, you can uh, probably see yes. it in your inventory. Your oh, let's see weapons, blessing, and curses. So I guess my big fear, right, is that is it going to get to a point, especially later in the game when these adventures are longer, um, where it's just damn near impossible to remember all of your enhancements? Well, what I think it will helps, and it's why I like that beginning animation when you go into an encounter, it does card by card by card. Say, right. But at the same time, when that happens, you're going to get to the point where you're tired of waiting. Especially, you, well, that, that's the thing. Like, like, say I have twenty cards that are applicable for that challenge. Do you really want to sit there and watch twenty cards well, do I that? I feel like there is a limit to how many cards will actually like go on there. But also, I feel that the effects are individualized enough that you're not going to really run across something that's like an equal effect or anything like that. But also simple enough that you can sort of keep them in mind. Mm. Because it's for the rest of the dungeon. It's not like it's a one-time thing. Right, right. I mean, if it were, yeah, if it were for the entirety of the game, then that could very well get uh, way overwhelming. Yeah. Um, I won't be running into any lizard men yet. Oh, wait. No. I need food. Psh. Lizard men. One food lizard for six men bucks. Don't know Seriously. Shoot. Fuck it. Pricey. Damn. Yeah. I'm sure you're grateful. There. Well, at least have some <laughs> sort of benefit. I like that. I'm sure you're grateful. Yeah. Yeah. Back Thanks. off, dude. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Batch. Batch. I don't know why I say that so much. Oh, maiden. You might oh hey, bitch. Well, I mean, Marith. Whoa. Yeah, she's only bad. helping you uncalled for. Five max health. Thank you. Uh, let's just go. Stairs. Were you hoping this How many floors do most of the dungeon adventures have? Well, right now, I think there's just two. Close on her trail, okay. And more confident than I had imagined. But Presumably they, they, they get more. longer, yes. though. Yeah. And we will see Rockfall. Shit. Also, a new one. Every step you take consumed food, 
When you're near the coast, you hear a rumble overhead. Falling rocks force you to take cover. Attempt to dodge the rocks. Fuck. Oh. Uh, I don't know, man. Uh, uh. All right, let's see what happens. While fleeing, you were struck by several rocks. Draws one pain card. Lose 15 health. Ouch. Could be worse. Just when you think it's over, you are knocked unconscious by a large rock striking your unprotected head. A good warrior always wears a helmet, you remember. Hours later, when you awaken to find some of your supplies are missing. Oh, draws you man. two pain cards. 30% gold. Eh. Good thing we spent One it. One food. No! Five food left. That was the first time that I've actually legitimately, like, lost a bunch of shit. Yeah, and it's, it's probably a good thing we took those stairs instead of adventuring more yeah. for that reason. Well, maybe we could have gotten more food, but... So, what's also interesting that I just I just realized this, as long as you have food, every time you move from one card to the next, you heal six health. So, if, like, you've taken huh. damage, you use a food to heal six health. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Okay, so here's here's where I start to get a little worried, right? Because we've done this. Yes. So we're basically doing the same thing that we've already done before. Yeah. Um, so I, I guess like, is this is this dungeon configuration different than we did it last time? Because it even looks the same. I think it is. I think it is literally the same encounter card, though. So that might. I do know that there are other ones in the game that are that do differ. Yeah, it's just... I don't know. I, I worry that this becomes boring. It's it's less... It seems less likely to happen over and over again, right? But, gotcha. like... More health to I don't know. It's things like that that I would definitely caution against in a lot of games. And it has everything to do with the fact that it's the same configuration. If it, if like maybe different dungeons or like mazes, I guess, mm -hmm. um, just like the, maybe if they were different sizes, right? Or they had mm. different types of like Bandits. challenges in them, like an of one. Um, then that's fine. An of but like if I draw the same, like if I draw the, the maze of uh, whatever that one was that we just drew, if it at least changed the configuration, then at least it would keep things interesting. Yeah. But because it kept that same configuration, then that's why it, it becomes oh. dangerously boring. Um, uh, you notice something? No. The green thing right before they attack is gone. Oh, interesting. I don't know what happened there, though. I don't know why that's a thing. It could just be a, a method of, of increasing the challenge for the game. Um, maybe it's because these are better fighters? I don't know. I don't know if there was any indication of that. Yeah, that's the thing. I thought we were on normal difficulty. I didn't think there was... I thought there was just no... I mean, it, it could be one of those random chance things, or maybe it's because it's the adventure itself that mm. changed it. Um, yeah, I don't know. Or it could even be the game glitching. I'm, I'm really not sure at this point. Um, right. Oh, well. And I don't think you said anything about it either, so... Right. Twisted Canyon. Once again, we're doing this. Twisted Canyon. Well, we will do the Twisted Can... Well, I guess this is just a card draw, right? Yep. Okay, so after this, we'll, we will end the episode. Um, ooh, a weapon card. Yes. Frost Fang. Ice. Equipments with this trader is beautiful, beautiful glacial power. Lizard men are especially susceptible to ice damage. Each hit slows the target of uh, with cold. Press left bumper to shoot a cone of ice. Yes, I will equip Frostfang. That's All pretty right. awesome. Yeah, we've got our first magic weapon. Nice. Oh. Mm. <laughs> we should actually say goodbye, Kuja. All right. Hey. Thank you for watching. Let us know if you're enjoying this series. Um, and... We might still do, what, a couple more episodes? Yeah. Yeah, we'll do a couple more. Well, At least. I mean, if you guys are really into the series and you want to see what more the game has to offer, feel free to comment or shoot us a message and let us know. Yeah, so, th I mean, if you can't tell, this is the end of our recording for today, but yeah. if you'll hopefully not notice any difference if we record more. But if, if people really like this, then maybe we'll just record a lot more in the next session. So, um... Yeah, let us know, please. Yes, definitely. And uh, definitely feel free to shoot us a message if you have any game requests or anything like that. Especially you, indie game developers. We're looking at you. It's time for you to... All right. Anyway, that's all for this episode. 
Join us next time on Game Devs Play Games where we continue the hand of fate. <laughs> See you guys in the archives. Bye. Hey, everybody. Hi. So, I know we ended this episode saying we were going to do a couple more, but actually we're, we're having enough graphical issues with the game to where we... We're going to just call it here. We weren't going to do the full playthrough of the game anyway, so... We were only going to do, like, a couple more episodes, and, and I, honestly, at the end of the day, a lot of the main mechanics were already revealed. The only thing that wasn't really revealed was that every time you beat the last chunk of a layer of the whatever, mm -hmm. it unlocks a special card, changing the entire rest of the game a little bit. So... That was really, at the end of the day, other than picking up other magical weapons and other equipment and such like that, there wasn't really much uh, more depth to the game. Not that that's a bad thing. I really do like that game. There are a couple things I wish they'd added in, but at the end of the day, it's unfortunate that we couldn't give you these last two episodes. So Yeah, but Sorry by the way, guys. the game was still a blast. Um, definitely check it out for yourself. It, it's entirely possible that it's my graphics card or computer that's causing the problems. And hey, if it's you want It's really wanna, hard to tell right now. If you want to check out that game developer... Click here on the logo that just showed up. I mean, up. it was there in episode one, too. But yeah, well, it happened again. It's weird. <laughs> I can't control these things. Uh, actually, that won't work. Why? Why? We can't have external links. It has to be... Annotations have to be YouTube. If it's you not my rules, man! If you want to see the man. logo of the people who made the game, click here. <laughs> anyway, thank you, everybody, for watching, and uh, stay tuned for the next game. Sorry. <laughs> That's a bug that flew in my face. And if you have any requests, let us know because <laughs> yes, we definitely play. let us know because we like playing video games, especially when bugs fly in our face. It's great. Bye, um, everybody. See you. <laughs> See you in the archives. <laughs>